In this video, I made doors that only certain players could pass through and others cannot. So I have a yellow door. I am on the yellow team, so I can pass through the yellow door. The zombie cannot pass through the door. But because I'm not on the blue team, I cannot pass through the blue doors. Blue team members cannot pass through yellow doors. So you get the idea. Um, you could do this for like game passes for exclusive areas, or you could do it for your tycoon areas where you'll only let the, the one player that owns the house into the house through the door. All right, so let's get started on that. Uh, I will pause the video and then open up a fresh world and you can build along. All right, here's my fresh world. I'm gonna add a part to the world and I'm gonna call that part door. There we go, door. Then the door, let's, let's anchor it. Make sure can collide is actually checked. Otherwise, anybody will be able to run through your door and your collision groups will be meaningless. So can collide, checked. I'll make the size five by 10 by one. Now it looks like a door, it's door-like. Turn collisions off, hit the move button. Control D to duplicate. We're gonna make a couple of these. Control D, Control D. All right, so I got four doors. And I'm gonna make a folder for my blue doors, a folder for my yellow doors. So I'll make a folder here. I'll call this blue, door, blue, blue doors. There. And let's get two blue doors. I'll make them blue so the players know they're blue doors. Oh, that's bright blue. Let me make electric blue. I like that better. There, put it in blue doors. And go to workspace, folder. This is going to be for yellow doors. So yellow doors. Let's make two yellow doors. There we go. And add them. Now, on the models tab, Let's add some teams. So we're gonna need to hit this, these two gears here and that's gonna insert a service. We're gonna insert the team service and they're down here. Let's add two teams by hitting that little plus sign. Let's give them names. Let's call it blue. And give it a blue color. So this blue color here is what's gonna show up on the leaderboard. Uh, it's gonna be highlighted in, this, in the color that we pick. So as long as they kind of make sense, they don't have to match perfectly. So blue is the team name. The electric blue is just the color. Let's go ahead and do this for yellow. And we'll go here. So that's a new yellow, but it's close enough. Yellow and new yellow. It's not gonna throw off any players. All right, so there we go. We got our doors, we got our teams. Let's add a script. Server script service, script. And I'll call this um, collisions, All right? So we're gonna need the physics service. I'll just call it PS. Game get service, physics service. I'm gonna need four collision groups, all right? So one for doors, one for players, or two for doors, two for players. Those are my different groups. So I'm gonna create a collision group and I'm gonna call this one B doors group. All right, so you can see where I'm going with this, right? Control C. And let's make four. I'm gonna make this Y doors group. So all my yellow doors are gonna go to this collision group. All of my blue team members, blue players group, and all of my yellow players on my, on my yellow team, it's gonna go to this collision group. All right, now let's get our blue doors and our yellow doors, and we're gonna get it from that folder. So I'll say B doors, Workspace, um, what is it? B doors, get children. And I'll use another, get another table for our yellow doors. Workspace, yellow doors, get children. All right, now let's assign our doors to the appropriate collision group. I'm gonna make a function. I'm gonna say set door collision group. All right, so I'll have a door table and a group. And then I'll do a for loop for i equals one to the number of doors in the door table uh, and increment by one, right? We don't wanna skip any doors, get every door. PS set part collision group for each door. Use that little square bracket to index your table and send the group name in 
And this should do it. We gotta call this though. We gotta call this and send the doors. So I'll go set door collision group, B doors, and we're gonna use that, this group right here. So copy and paste. There we go. And we have to do one for the yellow too. So we'll just do control C, change that to a Y. change this to a Y. All right, so all of our doors belong to their appropriate collision group. Players, a little bit trickier. All right, so we're going to say local function set player collision group. We're going to pass in a character and the group you want to, uh, to join that, you want to uh, the character to belong to. So the character has a lot of parts. So we just what we have to do is we have to go through all the parts in the character and assign each one individually to that group. There's Unfortunately, there's no shortcut to just add the player to the collision group. So I'll do this for I child in I pairs um, for all of the children. So I'll say get children for the, ch for the character. And if the child is a base part then assign it ps set collision set part collision group child and i want the group name right there we go now unfortunately when the character is added this is going to be called right at the character added event um the children will be present but the descendants won't be because it takes about a second for everything to add and maybe not all the children will be will be present so for the character any of the descendants that aren't available when that loop fires let's say char descendant added connect to this function which is going to be an anonymous function with the descendant part essentially it's going to be this part's going to be the same we're going to add the collision group as that part comes in. Just change this dis for descendant. Change the child to the disk. So I change that here and I change that here. So now we got everything because even if one part's not collide or is collidable with a door, you won't be able to get through. All right. So on my player added, I'm going to have this function here called local function on player added. A player will be passed in. That's going to be called when my game players player added event is fired. When somebody enters a game. Uh, what is this on player added? I'm going to come up here and then I'll check. I'll get my player character added event. Connect that to a function. The char will be passed in. The character will be passed in. I'll say if player team name equals equals blue, then I'm gonna call this for the blue. All right, set player character group. I will pass in my my character. And I'll pass in my group name, which is blue players group. All right, but it could be yellow. So we'll say else, set player group, char, yellow players group. Nice. Now, all the players are in their right group. All uh, the doors are in their right group. Now let's set some rules about the collision groups and how they can interact. So I'm gonna go to my physics service. I'll say collision group set collidable. I wanna have my B doors group and my B B players group not be collidable. Let's make that a little smaller so you can see it. Get it all on the screen. So they're not going to be collidable. I'm going to do the same for the yellow. All right, we'll go here. Yellow. Yellow. All right, let's try it. That's all we needed. 
I know, it's kind of a lot. And get in here. And yellow, I should not be able to get through yellow because I am on the blue right now. That's good. I should be able to get through the blue. Ah, oh, nice. All right. So there you have it. You have some experience with the collision groups. You can make doors exclusive to some players and available to others. I will see you in the next video. Let me know if you have any questions.